Hello. Going live today. It's been a while since I've done a live stream. And uh, I wanted to come on today to talk about something that a lot of people ask me about. So I'll wait until some people start joining the live stream because normally I make an announcement uh, when I'm going to be doing a live stream so that people are aware what time it's gonna be, when they can join. So right now this is really uh, impromptu that I decided, you know what, I keep getting asked this question. So it's a good time for me to go live. It is Saturday um, in Ghana, it is Saturday evening. It is um, about 8.30 in the evening in Ghana. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon um, for half of my followers who are in the US um, as well as uh, Canada. Uh, I do have followers in the UK and other parts of the world, also here in Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa. I have followers all over, um, but most of them are in the Eastern time zone. And so I know that being a Saturday, maybe some of you are shopping, maybe you're busy doing something, but maybe you're home and you're relaxing, you're chilling. And um, this live stream is coming on and you get a chance to, um, to you know, join in and here are some of the things that I'm gonna say and answering the question that I get often from people. People often ask me about beyond the return because last year was year of return. Um, you know, tens of thousands of people came specifically to come to Ghana to uh, enjoy themselves, to experience the history, the heritage, the culture. Um, joining Kwame, thank you for joining the live stream today. All is well on my end. Uh, this is, uh, as I said uh, when I started, this is an impromptu um, live stream. I didn't give a warning or advance notice that I was doing this. I just decided um, that I'll do this because I get asked this question a lot. The question is, what exactly is beyond the return? And some people um, even ask about, um, is it happening? Because a lot of people think it's just this year. And since we're now into August, and the borders have been closed the majority of the year. A lot of people are like, well, I guess it's not happening. But um, it is happening. Beyond the Return is not just a one year program. Like last year, year of return was just one year for 2019 because it was commemorating the 400 year anniversary of that documented ship of enslaved Africans that had arrived in the US, in Virginia. Uh, Beyond the Return is a 10 year initiative called a decade of African Renaissance. Um, Akwame, if you're in class, don't worry, this will be on here, you can watch it later. Thank you for tuning in for the brief moment that you were able to. Um, and Audrens, thanks for uh, tuning in today. Uh, as I was saying earlier, it's 4.30 in the afternoon in the Eastern time zone where a lot of my uh, subscribers are, a lot of my viewers are. Um, in Ghana, it is 8.30 in the evening. Um, I do have people who watch from the UK. It's 9.30 p.m. in the UK. Um, thank you so much, everybody who is uh, has been following and subscribing to my channel. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to be talking about Beyond the Return. I want to wait for some people to join uh, so that I don't repeat myself because sometimes when I do live streams, I say some things and then as people are joining, they start asking questions about something that may have been said already. So um, so yeah, I'm just letting people join. Um, hello, Loretta from the UK, thanks for tuning in. Um, as I was saying in the beginning, I'm going to answer the question that a lot of people keep asking me, which is what exactly is beyond the return? And is it actually happening? Because the pandemic has had the borders closed for the majority of the year. Hello, Loretta, thanks for tuning in. Um, and yes, Beyond the Return is still happening. A lot of people don't really know what it's all about. They just know it's a, a follow-up to Year of Return, which was last year. So Beyond the Return is a decade of African Renaissance. It is a 10-year initiative and it's divided into seven pillars. So these seven pillars are the areas that are um, of focus 
that um, have come about from a lot of the questions and comments that people made last year during year of return. A lot of the diaspora people had a lot of these, you know, concerns and questions and things that they thought that could be improved, um, things that could better connect the diaspora with the local community. So um, the first pillar for Beyond the Return is called Experience Ghana which is something that people were doing already when they came, because um, experiencing Ghana has a lot to do with, with tourism, with experiencing the heritage, with experiencing the culture, um, seeing some of the uh, parts of the country you may not have been, like um, the Lee Waterfalls, um, the Cape Coast Castle, which a lot of people went to. Um, there are forts across the country and there are other attractions like Shy Hills, Cocoon Park. So the experience Ghana is primarily focused on the tourism aspect of Ghana. The next one, the next pillar in Beyond the Return is called Invest in Ghana. Now, Invest in Ghana is something that a lot of people have asked about um, over the course of the year of the year of return, people want to know how can I invest in Ghana? You know, how can I, you know, put my money here? So that pillar um, is largely about finding ways for the diaspora community to be able to invest, whether it's through money, through property, um, through, you know, collaborations. And so invest in Ghana with that pillar um, actively involved is the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, who, you know, help with people learning about how to do business in Ghana, connecting um, and giving information to the diaspora of things that you may not know that you need to know before you come. Hello, Antoine, thanks for joining um, the live stream today. If you're just joining, I'm talking about Beyond the Return. I'm talking about the pillars um, that go into this decade of African Renaissance that Ghana is doing. It's 10 years, 2020, 2030, even though the year has it's almost over of 2020. It is because it's a 10 year initiative. It, it will continue to go on. So I mentioned experience Ghana is pillar number two. I'm sorry, pillar number one. And then pillar number two, invest in Ghana. Um, that pillar, as I was saying, has a lot to do with investments and the Ghana Investment Promotion Center being actively involved in that particular pillar. Um, so you can always look up their website, the GIPCGhana.com to get more information from them. And then the next one is the Diaspora Pathway to Ghana. That is the next. Um, diaspora Pathway to Ghana is all about um, helping people to find ways to um, connect the diaspora with the local community. And so that particular one is um, another one that the, um, the Ghana Investment Promotion Center will be a little bit involved with that one. Um, and then some of the uh, heritage and um, culture um, to connect people as far as the diaspora finding a pathway to Ghana also um, includes things like um, residency status, uh, things like citizenship, um, work permits. That's also part of the diaspora pathway to Ghana. So the Ministry of Interior, and um, immigration would be involved in that particular pillar. So I've gone through three for Beyond the Return. There's seven pillars in total. The first one is Experience Ghana. Then there's Invest in Ghana. There's Diaspora Pathway to Ghana. Um, thank you for tuning in. Bruce from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, I used to live in Michigan. I don't know if anybody knew, knows that. I lived in Michigan 2007 to 2008, um, but I was in um, Detroit the greater Detroit, actually just outside Detroit in uh, Southfield. Uh, so I have been to Grand Rapids uh, a few times and, you know, Ann Arbor and, and all that. So thanks for tuning in. And uh, Sources TV from the UK, thanks for tuning in. Thank you everyone who's tuned in today. Um, as I said, I'm talking about Beyond the Return. A lot of people ask me what exactly it is. Um, I'll repeat for those just joining in, it is a 10 year initiative. Um, and there are seven pillars. I've gone through number one, which is Experience Ghana, number two, Invest in Ghana, number three, Diaspora Pathway to Ghana. The next pillar is Celebrate Ghana. And so for Celebrate Ghana, this particular pillar is a more about celebrating um, like cultural festivals, um, events that 
connect the culture of Ghana and find ways to attract people who want to travel to Ghana to experience these kinds of things. So things like, you know, last year with the year of return, a lot of the events would be considered celebrate Ghana, so like things like Afrochella, which was a festival celebrating African culture. Um, so things like that. And then also the cultural festivals that happen in Ghana. And, you know, there's a lot of festivals that happen throughout the year. Like um, coming up, I think, is the Homoa Festival, which is um, a Ghana cultural festival. And um, so Celebrate Ghana is all about celebrating events, um, cultural festivities. All right. So thank you for tuning in. Um, who else is here? Fado TV. Thank you. Oh, from Canada, where I used to live, my old stomping ground. Um, and then uh, we have uh, Diguiola, I hope I said that correct, Incorporated from NYC, welcome. Um, as I've been talking about Beyond the Return, which is a 10-year initiative, it has seven pillars. I've gone through number one, which is experience Ghana. Number two is invest in Ghana. Number three is pathway to Ghana. Number four is celebrate Ghana. And number five is uh, brand Ghana. And this is all about branding the country. So that would go under like changing the narrative of Africa. So there's a lot of people who are really focused on celebrating the positive aspects of Ghana. So part of branding Ghana, they have this initiative with the tourism, which is um, wear Ghana, eat Ghana, feel Ghana, eat Ghana. So all those things encompassing things like, like the food, the music, the clothes. Um, so that's part of brand Ghana. And then Give Back Ghana is the next pillar of Beyond the Return. Give Back Ghana is about giving back to the community. So it's not only about just coming and um, just coming, having a good time and leaving, but it's also an opportunity to give back to the community. Um, so for instance, last year during the year of return, the Omega Sci-Fi um, men came to Ghana, um, you know, they took a trip, and it wasn't just a trip to come and have a great time, but they also commissioned boreholes in some of the communities that were in need, some of the communities that didn't have access to water, you know, at like um, Akropong School for the Blind was a school that their access to water was cut off. And so they found a way to get a borehole dug. They got two boreholes dug up to help them get access to clean water in their area. Um, another example of uh, giving back is the, um, the contestants from the Miss Heritage World pageant last year when they came to Ghana. They got involved with the environment, um, with the Forestry Commission of Ghana. They got together and they planted trees um, throughout um, Sakomuna area of Ghana. They planted a lot of trees. This year um, with Beyond the Return, we went to Asinproso and planted trees in that area as well. And that area is considered sacred land that you're not supposed to destroy. You can't cut the bamboo trees there. So we went and we planted trees. So that's an example of giving back to Ghana, giving back to the land, giving back to the community, um, giving back to the country in different ways. Um, so that's one of the pillars. Ni Ayi, thank you for joining. Hi. Um, and then Sanctified, hello, thanks for joining. Raining Zion from Dallas, Texas. Welcome, my sister lives in Texas too. Um, and then, uh, oh, thank you. He said, you're looking good, girl, Sanctified. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, Kofi Azuma, thank you for joining in. I am good. Um, I wanna let you all know that I actually just added the super chat. I got a message from YouTube that I can add super chat. So if anybody wants to support the channel by doing a super chat, your comment would be pinned to the top of the comments. And I would thank you graciously for supporting my channel. Um, thank you for joining Benjamin. Oh, Benjamina, thank you for joining. Hi. And then uh, Nerdy Girl Travels from Atlanta slash Nigeria. Thanks for tuning in. Bernard, thank you for tuning in. Sweet Sugar from Washington, D.C., thanks for tuning in. For those of you just joining, I'm just going to um, rewind. I'm talking about Beyond the Return. I get a lot of people asking me what is Beyond the Return, um, especially because of, you know, year of return having had such a big impact. Beyond the Return is a 10-year initiative. There are seven pillars um, that each have a theme. 
And so over the course of 10 years, the plan is that these things will help to develop the country, help change the narrative, help to engage the diaspora with the local community. And um, you don't have to live in Ghana to make an impact. You can be somebody who goes back and forth, or you can be somebody who decides you want to live in the country. Now, I'm going to refresh for those people who just joined. I mentioned that there's seven pillars. The first pillar for Beyond the Return is Experience Ghana which has more to do with tourism, invest in Ghana, which is about investing in the country, which I mentioned earlier that the Ghana Investment Promotion Center is actively involved in, and you can always connect with them and they can give you more information. Um, they also have an Instagram page that's dedicated to the diaspora, which, call, which is the Diaspora Affairs Desk on Instagram. And then there's the Diaspora Pathway to Ghana, which is the third pillar. And this pillar is all about people who want to connect with Ghana, whether it's through citizenship, through um, work permits, through moving to Ghana, um, the pathways to coming to the country. And, and then I also want to remember, remind people that you don't have to be a citizen to live in the country. You know, sometimes people think they have to get citizenship in order to live somewhere, but you don't have to. There's a lot of people, for example, if you live in the States, there's a lot of people who come to America and they live there, they get work permits, all that kind of stuff, but they don't ever become citizens because they choose not to. Um, you don't have to become a citizen if you don't want to, but you can if you choose that that's the pathway you want to go. The next pillar, number four, is Celebrate Ghana, which is all about cele celebrating with events and festivities, cultural events um, that happen throughout the year. And then Brand Ghana, which I mentioned was about branding the country, changing the narrative of Ghana, changing the narrative of Africa. So things like uh, with the branding of Eat Ghana, Wear Ghana, See Ghana, Feel Ghana. You know, experiencing the food, the culture, the clothing, music. And then the one I just finished was Give Back Ghana, which is giving back to the community, whether it's giving back to the land through planting of trees and vegetation, and or it's giving back to the community the way that the Omega Sci-Fi's did with the boreholes for people who didn't have access to water in their communities. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, Fado TV said I left Ghana 25 years and I don't know how to get back home. Oh, I'm so sorry. You don't know how to get back home. You will get back home eventually. You will find a way. Uh, Mob Brian, uh, you're doing a great job watching from Germany. Thank you so much for tuning in from Germany. Um, thank you everyone who's tuned in. Nia is talking to you, Fado, saying it's a long time. You can still make it back one at a time. Yes, one day at a time, you can make it back. Um, thank you so much, everybody who's tuned in. Um, Raining Zion said, is there a Ghana stock market or an Africa stock market? That is a great question. Yes, there is a stock market in Africa. A lot of people don't realize that. And I didn't either. And it was just recently that I, maybe two years ago that I found out, because I, I mean, I just, it wasn't something I thought about. But then I realized, you know what, there's trading that happens here too. So they definitely would have a stock market here too. So yeah, the, Ghana does have a stock, a stock market. Um, if you Google um, African stock exchanges, you'll find that there are um, a list of different stock exchanges. So, you know, out, they, almost every country has their own stock exchange. Algeria has one, um, Angola, Botswana, Cameroon, um, Gabon, Ghana, Kenya, Lesotho, um, uh, Libya, Malawi, Mauritius. Um, Nigeria has one as well. Like today, I actually looked at um, one of the most successful countries, um, companies in Nigeria is Dangote. They do um, cement. I was looking at that and I saw that you can only trade their um, stock if you buy it off of the Nigerian stock exchange. Um, Rwanda has their own stock exchange. South Africa, I think South Africa has more than one, if I'm not mistaken. So yes, there are stock exchanges in the African continent. You just have to spend your time doing some research to find out what you feel are the best options for you. Um, and I know that Ghana, at the beginning of the year, the Ministry of Finance announced a diaspora bond, that which is an investment bond for the diaspora community. They announced it, but they're still working on developing all of the, um, the kinks in it of exactly um, what is necessary for everyone. So just stay tuned for that. The Ministry of Finance is working on finalizing that and they're gonna, they'll are going they make the announcement when everything is um, finalized um, so that the diaspora can start making their investments in that. So great question, um, Raining Zion, excellent question. Um, Shonda asked me how long have you been in Ghana? Well, I first came to Ghana in 
uh, it was, I shouldn't say first came, but when I came and stayed for an extended period, 2011, I came um, and it was supposed to just be um, a brief time, but I ended up staying until uh, through throughout 2013. Um, I, I started working and so I stayed for, for a while until through, through 2013. And then I left and came back in 2016. So I've been here now since 2016. All right. Um, and then Adrina Monet, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Shonda, that's okay. Yeah, I, I, thanks for tuning in. Justice, hello. Um, who else is here? Francis, greetings from Sweden. Oh, thank you for tuning in. My cousin used to live in Sweden and I never got to go, but my brother went to visit and he said it was a beautiful place. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, the last one pillar I finished talking about was um, the Give Back Ghana um, before I started answering questions about the stock exchanges in Africa. Um, so the seventh pillar for uh, beyond the return is promote Pan-African heritage and innovation. So with this particular um, pillar of promoting Pan-African heritage and innovation, the um, focus is all about Pan-Africanism and the heritage of Ghana and Africa, and then working towards um, and making some improvements with some of the um, heritage um, sites in the country. So. So those are the seven pillars of the Beyond the Return. I'll, I'll go through it again. It is experience Ghana, invest in Ghana, diaspora pathway to Ghana, celebrate Ghana, brand Ghana, give back to Ghana, and then promote Pan-African heritage and innovation. So um, with this being a 10 year initiative, you know, things could certainly evolve as the years go. Um, Things will evolve as the years go because as things change and things develop, um, you know, and as we get more feedback from people and, you know, once the borders start to open up and, you know, we'll see how things things evolve and things grow and things develop. Um, but it's fantastic that it's a 10 year initiative because it's a decade of being able to do something that continues to connect with the diaspora. I know there's a lot of people in a lot of tour groups that have started calling their tour groups beyond the return tours and all this kind of stuff um, right now the official Beyond the Return um, site, the official Beyond the Return under the auspices of Ghana Tourism Authority and the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture in collaboration with the Diaspora Affairs Office of the President has not officially endorsed anything specifically. Um, although there are people who are using the Beyond the Return um, name to promote some of the things that they are doing. I know a lot of people are really excited um, and can't wait to see what's in store. So the beginning of this year with Beyond the Return, some of the things that started, but got kind of halted because of, you may not know, and it was posted on our social media, but some people may not be aware that the um, Barbados government had some, some of their tourism ministers and other delegates who came in the 